There are several steps to inventory. First, you have to choose between a periodic system or a perpetual system. Then, you must pick which inventory costing system to use, specific identification, FIFO, LIFO, or average cost. Once you've determined your inventory cost using your chosen method, there is still one more step to do. You want to check and see if that cost is higher or lower than the net realizable value. What is net realizable value, you say? I thought you might ask that question, so I was prepared. Net realizable value is the estimated selling price of the inventory, less any costs of completion, selling, disposal, and freight or transportation. Why would a company need to check for this? Ever see an end of season sale or an overstock sale advertised? Is the company selling this inventory at the same price as they normally sell the inventory? Probably not. And if not, should the company report that inventory at its original cost or at a reduced price? Especially if the reduced selling price is less than the original inventory cost. Assume you originally purchased inventory for $230 each. You sell the inventory for $380 each. Cost to sell, dispose of, and or transport the inventory equals $60. The net realizable value is $320. Which is lower, cost or net realizable value? Cost is lower at $230. This is the amount we currently have our inventory recorded for and the amount we would report. However, the inventory is now out of season and we have marked it down to $280 each. Net realizable value is now $220. We again want to compare cost and net realizable value. Which is lower? This time, net realizable value is lower. We will need to write down our inventory to this lower amount. To do that, we will make an entry to debit cost of goods sold for $10 and credit inventory for $10. Now, our inventory equals 220. You can analyze multiple items or categories of inventory the same. Assume your inventory consists of the following. We want to identify for each item which is lower, cost or net realizable value. Then we can determine the total that may need to be written down in our inventory. So we have three items here, ABC, LMNOP, and XYZ. We have the quantities for each, the unit cost for each, and the total cost, which is just quantity times unit cost. Then we have a unit net realizable value and a total net realizable value. Again, this total is just the unit net realizable value times the quantity. So we just want to determine which is lower for each of these, cost or net realizable value. So total cost is 1224, total net realizable value is 1176, so which one is lower? That would be 1176, right? Same thing for element OP. Cost is 780, net realizable value is 1456, so the lower here would be the cost of 780. XYZ, cost, total cost is 2496, total net realizable value is 3315. So the lower here is cost. We only had one item that the net realizable value was lower. That was ABC. So we're just going to total up this column. So my cost right now is a total of 4,500, but my lower of cost or net realizable value total is 44.52. So that is lower than what I currently have my inventory recorded at cost. So I need to write this down. So let's see what the difference is here. We have 4,500 currently recorded for inventory. My inventory needs to be 44.52. So I need to write down $48. So my inventory write down would be $48. To write that down, we're going to, again, debit cost of goods sold for $48 and credit inventory for $48. Now inventory will really be recorded and reported at $44.52. Now you've completed all the steps of inventory costing and valuation. Great job!